In this world on the day this video launches, it's November 6th, the same day Will Byers goes missing in the first episode and Eleven opens a portal to the Upside Down, a parallel dimension filled with unbelievable horrors. But what I still find kind of unbelievable is that there's some real science to this notion of parallel worlds. Once you open up that curiosity door, anything is possible. But don't worry about them being too much like the Upside Down because we'll probably never be able to interact with them. Mm, probably. Here's how multiverse theory allows for mind-blowing cosmic weirdness. And maybe even the parallel dimensions of Stranger Things. The Veil of Shadows is a dimension that is a dark reflection or echo of our world. That's the Dungeons & Dragons version of the multiverse, and depending on which theory you use, it's honestly not that far off from the science. The theory of the multiverse is that our universe doesn't exist alone, but is part of an ocean of unimaginably large expanses which may have different physical rules from one another. And through the years, different scientists have proposed at least four theories of how we could be one of many universes, some of which get us closer to the Upside Down than others. And while you'll need a really good science teacher to understand the details, the basics you can get, like why even start thinking about this? It's partly because scientists, including the likes of Stephen Hawking, were troubled by how suspiciously perfect the conditions for life are in our universe. Everywhere you look, universal constants defy predictions to fall within ranges that allow life, like how, and I could have found 15 examples of this, specific quirks of carbon allow it to be abundant in our universe, the very building blocks of life. For some, the multiverse is a potential solution to this and other problems. So basically, there are parallel universes. Think of clothes in a store. It might not make sense to have a bright yellow universe all alone, but what if it were with an entire multicolored rack? It starts to fit in more, right? That doesn't mean the theories aren't weird. Even the simplest version of the multiverse is weird. See, models predict that our universe is infinite. I know, it's crazy, but matter can only arrange itself in so many ways. Imagine a deck of cards. Any given card order may seem unique, but given enough shuffles, it will appear again. So our universe too could repeat itself somewhere out in infinity, beyond the limits of what we can now see. And that has strange implications, because not only will there be an exact copy of our Dustin in another universe's version of Stranger Things, there will be billions of mirror Dustins. Mental. Just like our world, but just infinite variations of it. Some will be small variations, maybe a different outfit in a scene, and sometimes they'll become demo dog breeders or start dating Nancy after their dance. Fan fiction becomes real, people. It stands to reason that in this infinite chowder, pictured charmingly here in Cosmos, there could be a real world which just happens to be exactly like the fictional Upside Down. Even in our universe within the universe, scientists have proposed that radioactive planets would be capable of sustaining very hardy life forms. Of course, your nearest identical twin would be 10 to the 10 to the 118 meters away, unimaginably far. So even if this theory is true, the chances that they're going to bust through your wall are nil. A different kind of multiverse is predicted by the theory of cosmic inflation, which isn't a fringe theory, by the way. At the beginning of everything, the universe expanded far faster than the speed of light. It was an explosion of space, not in space. But that explosion wasn't uniform. Fluctuations meant that some parts stopped inflating early, creating bubble universes like our own, while other parts kept going. Scientists like to use Swiss cheese for this, but this is a Stranger Things video, so we're gonna use Dig Dug. These pockets patrolled by pukas and Phygars are universes. The soil is the space between universes, which is rapidly inflating. Once bubbles form, they get pushed farther apart at faster than light speed, so under this theory, the Upside Down isn't likely to come knocking either. The really weird part, though, is that the bubble universes can have different laws of physics, so maybe transmuting hive mind life forms are more likely there. Possibly. Which leads us to the most controversial of all multiverses, but also maybe the most alluring. 
You guys have been thinking about Hugh Everett's Many Worlds interpretation, haven't you? Yes! So far we've started from the big end of the scale, but the Many Worlds interpretation gets to the multiverse through the smallest parts of existence. The big problem is that the physics of small stuff, quantum mechanics, is kooky. Even physicists say they don't really understand it. One conundrum is how really small objects like photons behave in experiments. They appear to act as waves, multiple possible places at the same time, until we measure or observe them. Then all their possibilities collapse into a particle. So the mere fact that we're looking changes reality. It causes an inanimate, insensate beam of light to make a choice. If you remember Schrodinger's cat, that's what it's about. But scientists don't like this because uh, it makes no sense. I mean, planets don't change because we look at them. The physicist Hugh Everett III had a simple yet mind-boggling way out of this awkwardness. The wave doesn't collapse, he said. We see one result here, but in other universes that split off from our own, other us's see the other outcomes. An easier way to understand it might be through the telepathic spin-the-bottle game that Max and Eleven play in Season 3. While the bottle is spinning, there's a number of probable outcomes, but we all see it collapse into one, Billy. But according to the Many Worlds interpretation, in another universe, the bottle would tell other versions of Eleven and Max to spy on Mr. Clark, or Steve, or whoever. With universes branching off at every quantum measurement, creating infinite U's, it's suddenly crowded in here, right? Plus, they all occupy the same physical space at the same time, sort of like the Upside Down does. But before you go taking an axe to your walls, the universes are, according to most, completely sealed off from another after the split. And finally, there's M-theory, the most mind-boggling of all. Einstein spent the back half of his life looking for a grand, unifying theory of physics, and some think they found it in M-theory. It says that everything, from quarks on up, is composed of infinitely thin loops vibrating at certain frequencies. But one peculiarity is that M-theory requires seven more dimensions to work, dimensions which normal humans can't see, a concept helpfully explained by Mr. Clark in the show. Here's where things get really interesting. The flea can also travel this way, along the side of the rope. He can even go underneath the rope. But M-theory also envisions strings attaching to structures, called brains, like membranes, which will need special help demonstrating. You can think of them as multi-dimensional space waffles floating in stacks of higher dimensional syrupy space-time called the bulk. Brains hold universes including ours, and those other brains could actually be traveling through hyperspace mere millimeters from us. Theoretically, they could interact with us. It would account for mysteries like the weakness of gravity, for instance, as foreign brains siphon particles away from our world. If a neighboring brain brushed up against us, it could even unleash something like the Big Bang. Science is neat, but I'm afraid it's not very forgiving. So maybe this is the theory we've been searching for after all? But again, this is all... Theoretical. Look, no one has successfully tested any of these theories. In fact, some are criticized for being untestable and therefore unscientific. So in the end, multiverse theory is partly a thought exercise on the grand scale and strangeness of the cosmos. But still... If the Demogorgons do break through, don't say we didn't warn you. Okay, I know I said that universes in Hugh Everett's Many Worlds interpretation wouldn't interact with each other, but some believe that quantum computers, the beginnings of which we are already seeing, actually get their otherworldly speed because their calculations are simultaneously carried out in other universes. We hope you know what you're doing, scientists.